What's going on, Pride Nation? This is Luke G's Field Review, and we back out with another video. This time, we're going to break the code of Bob Quinn. That's right, we're breaking the code of Detroit Lions general manager, Bob Quinn. So, this video popped up on YouTube uh, a few days ago, and I watched it a few times because there was a lot of interesting uh, snippets in there, but there was one snippet that got my, my skin raged up. Now, the Lions have 10 uh, draft picks this season, and they need everything from cornerback, linebacker, safety, running back, wide receiver, tight end, guard, DN, D tackle, and quarterback. And before somebody starts going, they don't need a quarterback, we'll talk about that later. But nevertheless, I want to break the code on Bob Quinn because for a guy who doesn't say much, she said a whole lot in this section. So we're going to play this little part and we're going to get into it. So let's start this little part and then we'll get into it. You have a top 10 pick this year and you haven't had that since working here with the Lions. Is there something exciting about this time of year going into the draft, knowing that you have a lot more opportunities at pick number eight? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really excited about drafting at number eight, but it, it is what it is and that's where we'll pick if we stay there um, and that's you know something that let's stop right there for a minute people did y'all catch that did y'all catch that did y'all catch him say yeah I'm not excited about drafting at eight but you know we got a lot of options if we stay there did you see the long pause on if we stay there if you miss it I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit just pay attention I'm not really excited about drafting at number eight, but it, it is what it is, and that's where we'll pick if we stay there. Uh, if we stay there. Now, earlier in this video, he talked about the importance of the Senior Bowl and, and the prospects in the Senior Bowl and being able to go through the process of picking out prospects. And it, it got me to thinking about some things. And, and one of the first things we're going to break about um, the Bob Quinn code is, is Bob Quinn has an effectuation with certain college uh, conferences. Uh, since he's been brought to Detroit to be the GM, he has selected eight SEC players. Okay? Eight. He has selected four Big Ten players. Okay? And two Sun Belt, one ACC three pack 12 three max one big sky and two mountain west so the first thing that stands out to me is cracking this code is is, is the is the first thing bob quinn is planning on trading the eighth pick and i'm gonna tell you why this is an important uh move for the detroit lions and, and it's really boiling down to one player kyler murray okay Kyler Murray shifts the entire draft in favor of the Detroit Lions. So for all you people who were sitting there and talking about some, oh, they need to tank and tank some more and tank again and get the high draft pick. Think about what he just said. He's flat out saying we're not, we don't have no intentions of staying there. That's why he paused and said if we stay there. But let's listen to him further. Um, and that's you know something that I look at it as whatever pick it is, whether it's eight, whether it's 16, whether it's 32, they're all important. Um, so will there be four, more players available to us at number eight? Absolutely. Um, you know, in previous years when we were drafting the teens, the late teens or 20s, um, you could really cross off about eight or 10 guys because you have no chance of getting them and you're not going to trade up that far. Now really the whole draft is open to us. Um, now let's, let's take a minute and stop right here. The whole draft is open to them. Oh my God. If y'all are not getting excited, okay, I don't know what's wrong with you. Now y'all might be thinking, Luke, you getting way too excited, he ain't said nothing. But if you know football and you pay attention to patterns and trends, then you know he is speaking facts. The reason he does not care, okay, 
about that pick at eight is because he knows somewhere already he has options. He's already been talking to some team, probably the Raiders, where he gives up the eighth pick and take two of their first. They got like four or five of them, okay? So there's something going on there that gets me excited because if you look up and they trade out of the eighth pick and end up with, say, uh, pick 17 and 27, right, or 26, something like that, to give up the eighth pick and maybe uh, a fifth and they give up a, a sixth, Detroit Lions fans are going to be excited, okay? Because the options that are going to fall to us at that point are so amazing, especially in a draft that's heavy with defensive linemen. But let's listen. So that really opens up a little bit more of the um, top end that we haven't been used to really diving into um, in terms of the evaluation. So um, it's exciting, I and mean, the draft is exciting no matter where you pick. So um, we'll take the best of um, these opportunities and try to build a team. This is your fourth year as general manager. What have you learned going into your fourth year? Um, you learn a lot every year. Um, every year is different in the NFL. Um, the thing that we always talk about is every year the team's different, and there's a different dynamic of, of the locker room, of the of the player skill set, um, and, and overall the composition of the team. You know, some years you might have an older team, some years you might have a younger. You know, our goal is always to have a balanced team with some veterans and some young players. All right. You heard it there yourself, people. Their goal is to have a balanced team. This is not about Matthew Stafford. This is about a balanced team. Okay? He is flat out saying we can no longer just simply rely on, on the quarterback. And if anybody act as if though that is a negative against Matthew Stafford, go stand in the corner. You want a five-minute timeout. Okay? What he is saying is he's paying attention to patterns and trends. And the patterns and trends show that the more balanced you are, the better you are as a team. It's quite simple. This is a, a, a normal thing in life, and it's a normal thing in sports. Let's let them finish up a little bit. Players, um, but like we talked about, you know, 35, 40% of the roster is going to be turned over every single season. So that's something that, um, you know... They got another little code right there. He already telling you, hey, don't get comfortable with these people on this team, okay? <laughs> they may not be here. Some of these people y'all like may be on the out, okay? Don't y'all fall in love with them because we're getting ready to be more balanced, and if they don't fit the balance, they're gone. I just want y'all to pay attention. We code breaking here. No, we have to you know, make sure that we... The guys we lose, we replace, and hopefully um, upgrade. Well, we're looking forward to seeing how this draft process plays out. Thank you so much for joining us, Bob. Great. And, and, and the benefit of this whole interview, which is only about 6 minutes and 53, again, I do not own any of the rights uh, to this video. This is all the rights are owned to the Detroit Lions organization. Um, you know, But at the end of the day, what this is really telling you is you can almost essentially go through and figure out based on what he's previously drafted and from what conferences. And if we start right here in the North team of the Senior Bowl, we can already rule out a number of teams. And I know that people are going to say that, well, that doesn't really mean that he's going to rule those people out, you know. Yeah, but he, you know, let's be honest here, okay. He is not looking, uh, he is not going to be looking at people in conferences he don't, find to be uh, profitable and the matrix show that he love him some S uh, EC people big 10 Mac and uh, pac 12 so if we just go down here we can almost look okay uh, let's start right here at the running back position nope don't fit the conference so I don't even have to look at a guy like this not saying that he won't be a good player but I just want to kind of focus on it. But like Drew Locke from Missouri, SEC quarterback. Is this a guy that Bob Quinn would look at? Possibly because Drew Locke could possibly be a fifth or sixth round draft pick. Okay. We go down to the AC, uh, ACC, another conference that he loves. They got Jermaine Pratt, inside linebacker. Could this be a possible candidate? Yes. All these players you see 
from the SEC, ACC, Big Ten. You can rule this guy out. You can rule this guy out. He still laying it, okay? And then you also, here's the other part of it. You got to take into account what the team needs are, okay? And this makes breaking the code even better because he's clearly going at the players that are fitting the mold, okay? So when when we look up and we see, uh, let's, let's say, for example, like we need a wide receiver. And I got AC, ACC prospect. And I got people like Jalen Smith, who's six foot four, two twenty. And then you go and look at what he's been doing with his receivers. He's trying to get bigger targets. Those are those are high prospects. But then you start looking at people like this from Georgia State, from the Sun Belt, and you might wonder, well, okay, what does that mean? Well, he's a shorter receiver. They're probably not going to give him too much look. Okay. Now, when you start to get into the the neck of things, and you start getting into the Pac-12 inside linebacker from usc these are schools that he's going with which might i add is a good thing so for detroit lions fans who may feel as if though uh you know the bob quinn is not talking enough or they listening to certain radio stations understand something the codes is easy to break if you know the patterns he he loves sec all these guys are in play okay all these guys are in play ACC safety, we need a safety. He's in play. Okay, a Mac quarterback, uh, is he gonna be in play? Depending on who gets him before, but these are all in play. So if they're SEC, if they're Mac, if they are uh, uh, Pac 12 or Big Ten, them four conferences, you can bet your bottom dollar we're looking at those conferences. The other players, like from the Mountain West and the Sun Belt, he took all those players in the later rounds. So when you want to see who those fifth, sixth, seventh round guys are, look into the Mountain West, uh, the Sun Belt, and the Big Sky. Look into those conferences. And people, go do your research. Okay? Do your research and just go through and do it based on the Lions' need. The Lions' needs, in case you missed it, the Lions' needs are cornerback, linebacker, safety, running back, tight end, guard, wide receiver, D tackle, D end, and quarterback. And the Lions have 10 draft picks. Do your research, and you're going to find that these guys are the ones who they are going to be looking at. Uh, that's it for this video, guys, and I'll be back at you with another one in a hot second. Until then, what up?